I appreciate that, bro. All right, look, guys. So this will be for daily race B. And as y'all can see, we're actually using the super for this one. Um, guys, the super is very, very uh, strong here. But um, even regardless, there are plenty of different cards that you can use here. Um, so I, I do recommend you know, use something that you're comfortable with. Um, and um, like I said, there are different cards you could use. Uh, super is one of them, though. Super is very strong. Um, but yeah, so guys, as we start off the lap here, um, be before we get into it, I definitely want to, uh, let you guys know that since we're on racing hards in the super, th like the thing is with this car using hards, it, um, has lots and lots of tire spin. Um, one, once that, uh, once that torque kicks in, you know, you you're going to get lots and lots of wheel spin. So, um, plenty, plenty of throttle control, nice, nice, smooth trail braking which is gradually getting off the brakes into some of these corners and getting on that power very, very early, very, very early, but using lots of throttle control. Um, yeah, as Voidzy just said in the chat, uh, W supporter Voidzy, shout out my guy Voidzy. Uh, he's even using the M6, and that's another good comparison. If you're using the Super or M6 here, just be careful. Uh, it is very, very crit critical using these hard tires. Um, as we exit this final corner that they start us in, get a nice strong exit in third. Third gear is very stable and you get on that power nice and early. So exit the final corner in third gear as we start off. As we're going down this straight here, keep it in fifth. The reason why I say that is if you're going to sixth gear here, there's no point because one, uh, yeah, that that's uh, that's shifting. So you're gonna lose some time by shifting, and we're immediately gonna go in this fast left hander. So uh, it's gonna save you some time versus up shifting, um, and then having a downshift. So rev it out in fifth here. Now, guys, this is important. Um, as we're approaching this left hander, you want to maximize out as much track as you can. So you're gonna want to dip your right tires over this curb. If you're putting your right tire onto that curb, perfect. Use this apron of the track. Um, it opens up. If it's there, you use it. So you want to cross over this white line and lift a bit, get it tucked in, and get right back on that power nice and early. Now, there might be a chance, guys, that you go off to the grass here. Now, be careful. Um, you don't want to scrub off too much time by dipping your tire in that grass. So be very careful. Use that white line as your, you know, that's your barrier. You don't want to really go over that. Okay, so for this upcoming corner, uh, we're going to break before the 100 meter. So as soon, as soon as we approach it, as soon as it's directly in front of us, get off the power. 100% break and trail break here. Just enough to hit this apex, guys. You don't want to graze the wall. Be careful, guys. This is critical. Do not graze the wall. Turn in accordingly. Get on that power and upshift the second. Use some throttle control. As long as your tires are on the curb, that's perfect. Okay, same with here. Get your tires up onto this curb. Use as much track as you can. Keep the car in fourth gear. All you want to do is really lift and tap the brake just slightly. We did not go over 50% braking, only about 40% braking, and get right back on that power nice and early. As we're going through these S's, you want to keep it tucked in on the inside. So as we turn left, two tires up on this curb, and as we go right, hug that, hug that outside wall. Now, guys, this is critical. This can make or break your lap here. So as we're going through this, fast left-hander you want to angle yourself up turn in and lift as we straighten the car out 100% brake lift off a little bit if need be feather the brake just to as you're straighten the car out all you want to do is trail brake enough to hit this this apex here get your two tires up on that curb once you get off that, before you're actually coming off that curb, you want to early upshift, 
just like how we did with T3. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, T2. T2, same thing. Once we get off that corner. Now, I got a, I got throttle happy there, guys. That's what you don't want to do. Use more throttle control. I got throttle happy there. So I lost a lot of time by sliding the car on that exit. So as we're going down here, you actually want to bear out to the right and then tuck it in as we turn left because you want to get a nice smooth smooth uh, entry here and start on the left side now the braking boards are on the right but you want to start on this left for this right hander so as we pass the hundred meter that's our breaking point pass that hundred meter and trail break here now I use second gear just for rotation you don't have to go down a second but I just used it to tuck it in <clears throat> but make sure you're exiting this exiting this corner in third gear use some throttle control and then a hundred percent okay same with this corner here we're gonna pass the hundred meter and we're gonna break before we get to the 50 so right here you're pretty much breaking between the hundred and fifty so trail break here now I use first gear just for that rotation to tuck it in and then I double up shift to third keep it nice and stable and guys, like since we're on hard tires, use a little throttle control. Lift a little bit and then get right back on that power. So here, you want to keep the car pretty stable. Now, revving out fourth is it feels a bit more uh, better handle because if you go up to fifth, one you might lose some time going to fifth. And it kind of stiffens the car up through these uh through these S's. So rev it out in fourth. Go over this curb. Two tires up on that curb is perfectly fine. And then we're gonna lift a little bit, straighten the car out, and dab the brake a little bit. Once we get the car tucked in on this left side, start to downshift and then get back on the brakes nice and nice and lightly. Just to tuck it in to this corner here. And then Double upshift to third on your exit, just like how we start off the lap. Uh, make sure you're hugging the right side versus going too wide, or else you'll lose some time by doing that. So keep it on the right side here. And that's going to conclude our lap. So guys, just roughly doing that is going to at least get you into the 140s. We got to a 140.8 by just doing that. And we did make uh, multiple mistakes in that lap, though. But we still held on to it enough to at least get into the 140s. So uh, I'm going to run this back for y'all so y'all can see like the whole car positioning and uh, where we're placing our car for these corners and how it's going to look. So guys, we're going to run this back so y'all can see exactly where we gained time and we lost time. Nice lap. 0.5 is death there, Boise. It, I think we both know that and... I, I think I just really got to lock in and hook it all together. Because it's, it's definitely there. Definitely there. Yo, it's Kendo from TikTok and YouTube. Also on the Twitch fam. Yo, appreciate that. Shout out to everyone that's following the channel right now. Guys, this, this lab guide will be uploaded uh, right away for y'all too. This, this corner is... Very tricky for me too. Very tricky. And right there is where we lost some time. Scrubbed off. We let the whole rear just slide like that. I got a little too happy there. Monty, how long are you going to be on? I don't know. Nice lap. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, GE Racer. Definitely lost some time right there. Yeah, I was pushing heavy. I was pushing heavy. Yeah, I was pushing heavy right there.
So, GG is good though, guys. Like I said, hopefully this will help you guys out. Let me know in the comments of what time that y'all end up getting and also what car y'all ended up using as well. Make sure you guys run up the likes though, guys. Run up the likes if y'all enjoyed that. And also, uh, subscribe to the channel if you all are new as well. 